What's up, machine freaks? How's it crack a lacking today? Me, myself, I am crack a lacking very well today. And my four wheeler's about to be too. My new four wheeler is getting some new accessories thanks to Nylite. This video is sponsored by Nylite. They wanted me to check out their new light bar, put it on my new quad. The light bar, some brackets, and they also sent me a wiring harness. So this is what the light bar looks like. So we got all the materials, let's see how it fits on the new four-wheeler. I like the looks of that. And what I really like is the fact that these mounts move. It's an Allen head, loosen these up, and then they move back and forth. So now when I go ahead and put the slate bar on here, I can center it perfectly using my rack. These are the mounts for it. They bolt onto it like that. So I'll drill a hole there, come over on this side, drill a hole there. Now the good thing is, is if I drill these off centered, I can adjust the light once it's mounted using these. I like their mounting design. Unfortunately, I can't take advantage of it though. Not in this application. I can't really get a wrench behind here, so what I'm going to have to do is put a washer on top of this so that this bolt can spin. See, their design was you put it on something and you tighten it from the underneath while the top hangs onto itself. See, it doesn't spin. But the location I'm using doesn't really work. Nothing a washer can't fix. Now by putting a washer here, now I can just take my impact, tighten that thing right down. Now I just have to put two bolts on this side, two bolts on this side, find my angle, and then tighten them up. Now that I have the mini light bar snugged up, now I can adjust it. If I want it more down, if I want it right there. Personally, I think I want it right about there. The way I have this light bar, I'm going to go ahead and take off this plastic that covers the gas tank. That way I can run the wire out of sight, back to my battery, and then finish hooking everything up.
I'm going to run the wire back here so that I don't have to drill any holes in the plastics. And then once I get it below the plastic, I'm probably going to run it tight to the frame with some zip ties, get it to the battery, and then find a spot for my fuse and my relay. Yes, I understand that I drilled a hole right after I said I was not going to drill a hole. But sometimes you gotta make something look ugly for 10 seconds so it looks good forever. I mean, look how this turned out. Now I'm going to finish the rest of this wiring and I'm going to stick with the nice and neat method. I like being nice and neat. Nice and neat's my middle name. I wanna show you guys a situation I ran into. The way the wire harness works, you can have this switch light up red all the time so that it's like easy to see during the night, or you can wire it so it's always off. Now I'm sure I could wire it to the stator so that the switch would only be on when the engine's on. That way it's not drawing power from the battery constantly when it's off, but I'm not going to do that. I know where that switch is going to be at night. I know where that switch is going to be during the day. All you have to do, run one wire to the negative side of the battery, and then when you want the switch to be off all the time, you just have to disconnect this ground. Now if I go ahead and click this one on, just put it on ground, it's always on. But if I remove it, it's always off. And then when I turn the switch, the light bar still works. This is the way I'm going to run my light bar because like I said, I don't want it drawing any power when the four wheeler's off. Switches off, light bar's on. If you guys want a light bar, the link is in the description. 